Okay, so hello class. So welcome to another discussion for transfer tax. No, so we're, we're done with state tax. So let's uh, discuss na the donor's tax. Okay, so let's start with the definition and nature of donation. So per Article 725, donation is an act of liberality whereby a person disposes gratuitously, meaning walang consideration, uh, Walang consideration of a thing or right in a favor in favor of another who accepts it. Okay, so um, as discussed um, in the previous uh, videos, de ba? Um, we we have two kinds of donations. So we have donation mortis causa and donation inter vivos. So yung donation mortis causa it becomes effective upon the death of the donor. So mag take mag take effect siya pag uh, upon death of the donor, no? It is considered a testamentary disposition and governed by the law on succession. And, of course, uh, donation mortis causa is subject to state tax. Uh, we have donation inter vivos naman. So, donation inter vivos, it takes effect during the lifetime of the donor. No? And, if donation mortis causa is subject to state tax, donation inter vivos is subject to donor's tax. Okay? We also have here other forms of donation which is also subject to donor's tax. First, we have the cancellation of indebtedness. So, debt cancelled by the creditor no, without any consideration. No? So, yung mga utang na uh, hindi na pinabayaran no? by the creditor and um, no, for, for no consideration at all is subject na siya to donor's tax. Also, uh, for those transfers for properties for less than adequate and full consideration, no. For example, um, nag transfer ka ng property, no. Um, may consideration pero less than adequate and full consideration, de ba? So, um, subject siya to donor tax, no. Except for real property, no. So properties uh, transferred other than a real property for less than adequate and full consideration, uh, the amount by which the fair market value exceeded the value of the consideration shall be considered as a gift, deemed gift, and subject to donor's tax. And where the, uh, where the consideration is fictitious, the entire value of the property transfer shall be, shall be subject to donor's tax. No? Kasi parang... Um, naging way siya to, to escape donor's tax. No? So, kumbaga, nag-transfer ka ng property, say for example, yung property, ang value niya is 1 million, you sold it for, like, let's say, 10,000 lang, no? Uh, para may consideration, no? The, 900, uh, the 990,000 there is subject to donor's tax. No? Kasi you transfer it for less than adequate and full consideration, no? So, though my consideration siya, hindi siya kato this transfer, pero gitransfer mo siya for less than adequate and full consideration, it's still subject to donor's tax. But, but you take note that except, except for real property. No? However, a bona fide transfer no, in, the, in the ordinary course of business at arm's length and free from any uh, donative intent, uh, even if the consideration is inadequate is not subject to a donor's tax you know, if it's done in the ordinary course of the business okay so the elements of a taxable donation so first we have the capacity that the donor to transfer property yan, and the donative intent and the delivery so the transfer of property is completed by the delivery uh, either actually or constructively of the donated property to the donor so these are the elements of a taxable donation. Uh, next pala is, we do have acceptance no, of the donor. So, uh, the transfer of property by gift is perfected from the moment the donor knows the acceptance of the donor. No? Kasi, um, in, uh, in, dili ma-perfect ang donation if wala po gi-accept ni donor ang uh, donation. Okay? So, that's the element, capacity, donative intent, delivery, and acceptance. So, um, ano yung mga formal requisites, no? Um, 
for a donation. So, although the law uses the term act, the law considers donation as a contract. So, it's a contract as shown by the fact that it requires acceptance and that the rules and obligation and contracts apply to it as a support. Uh, supplementary law. So, being so, the required form as provided below shall be observed otherwise void. So, pag hindi ma-follow ito mga requisite, the, uh, the contract of donation is void. So, if the amount of donation is 5,000 or less, no, dapat um, pwede ra siya in writing, oral or in writing. However, if the amount of the nation is more than 5,000, it should be in writing. Okay? So, pero, if mag-donate ka ng, ano, uh, that, uh, that's for real property, uh, personal property, ha? No, pag personal property, pag 5,000 or less, pwede ra oral or in writing. Pag more than 5,000, dapat naka-in writing siya. No? However, if it's real or registrable property, no, Regardless of amount, dapat naka-public document. So, again, failure to um, abide this one uh, shall make the contract uh, of the nation void. Okay? So, persons who may give or receive a donation. So, all persons who may, en um, who may, who may enter into a contract and dispose of their property may make a donation. No? Guardians and trustees cannot donate the property entrusted to them. No? So, if a guardian ka or trustee uh, for a specific property, so, didi ni mo pwede i-donate ang katong property, nag i na po sa imuha, di ba? So, donor's capacity shall be determined as of the time of making of the donation. No? Kasi, um, yun nga, no person may give or receive by way of donation more than he may give or receive by will. Uh, the donation shall be ineffectious and shall exceed this limitation. Okay? So, all those who are not specifically disqualified by law, therefore, may accept donations. No? In capacity to succeed by will, kung sa uh, incapable ka to, uh, to succeed uh, by will, uh, uh, shall be applicable no, for donation inter vivos. Minors and others, of course, minors uh, and others who cannot enter into a contract, diba? since donation is a contract, so na yung mga uh, persons, no, such as minors and others who cannot enter into a contract, may become donee. No? Pwede siya madoni, but acceptance shall be done through their parents or representatives. Uh, since, since, uh, di, di pa man sila pwede ka enter into contract. So, yun siya. Dapat, um, yung acceptance through their parents or, uh, guardian or representative. Donations made to conceived and unborn children may be accepted by those persons who would, uh, legal represent them if they were already born. So, meaning, uh, ito palang, um, kahit unborn pa, no, yung, uh, yung child, no, pwede na siya makareceive, no, ng donation. So, donations made to incapacitated, incapacitated person shall be void, no, through simulated or uh, the gaze of another contract to, uh, through a person who is interposed. So, yun siya. Since have donation of conjugal or community property, so husband and wife are considered separate and distinct taxpayers for the purpose of donor's tax. So if mag ano mag donate sila ng conjugal property or community property or common property, um, i split ang two, i divide siya og two, then uh, moto asya ang subject for donor's tax for 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 the spouses, no, for husband and wife. No? So, kasi they are considered distinct taxpayer for the purpose of donor's tax. So, si wife magbayad o donor's tax, also si husband magbayad o donor's tax. However, if what has been donated is a conjugal or community property and only the husband signed the deed of donation, there is only one donor's, one donor, no, one donor for donor's tax purposes without prejudice to the right of the wife to question the validity of the no uh, donation without 
her consent pursuant to the pertinent provisions of the Civil Code of the Philippines and the Family Code of the Philippines. So, pwede ra, no? Pwede lang na si husband lang, no? Ang mag um, sign sa deed of donation, no? Even if the property is a conjugal or community property. So, husband and wife cannot donate any conjugal or community property without the consent of the other. Okay? So, dapat na i-consent uh, either kay husband and wife para makadonate sila of, of, of property na uh, part sa conjugal or community property. However, if it's exclusive property, so, they don't need uh, to have consent, no? of the other. However, either spouse may, without the consent of other, may make modern donations for charity or or on occasions of family rejoicing or family distress. Husband and wife may make a joint donation of conju uh, of con conjugal or community property. In this case, yun nga, so we've said kanina, and for the process purposes, each spouse shall be considered a separate donor of his or her interest. Moto siyang i-divide og two, no? In, in the property, one half being the gift of the husband and other half being that of the wife. Okay? So, let's uh, discuss more of that later. No? We have here exempt donations. No? So, so pang mag-donate with this uh, institution, no? uh, exempt na siya. Not subject to donor's tax. Say, for example, mag- uh, Donate ka for, with the in, International Rights Research Institute, Philippine American Culture Corporation, Ramon Magsisay Award Corpor Foundation, Foundation pala, Philippine Inventors Commission, Integrated Bar of the Philippines, Development of, uh, Academy of the Philippines, Aquaculture Department of the Southeast Asia Fisheries Development Center of the Philippines, National so Social Action Council, Intramuros Administration, Southern Philippines Development Foundation, National Museum, National Library, National Historical Institute, Tax Force on Human Settlement Consisting of Equipment, Materials, and Services, Public Schools in Accordance with Adopt a School Act of 1998, and Philippine Red Cross. So, uh, if mag-donate ka dito, no, so, exempt na siya for donors, tax. Okay? And let's have a void. What are yung void donations naman? So, those made between persons who are guilty of adultery or concubinage at the time of donation. So, void yon. Those made between persons found guilty of the same criminal offense in consideration thereof. Those made between the spouses during marriage. No? So, bawal mag donate. Uh, bawal mag um mag with each other ang spouses, except for moderate gifts, which the spouses may give each other on occasion of any family rejoicing, such as um, yung mag-regalo ka, pag-anniversary, so, yeah, so pwede lang yun, hindi siya void. Those made between persons living together as husband and wife without without a valid marriage. Yan, so katong mga nag-live in, so pwede. Those made to a public officer or his wife, descendants and ascendants by reason of his office. So, those are void donations. Okay? So, let's discuss na uh, particularly with the donor's tax or gift tax. Okay? So, donor's tax is a tax on donation or gift and is imposed on the, on the gratuitous transfer of property between two or more persons who are living at the time of the transfer. So, dapat uh, living siya at the time of transfer. No, since uh, mag-take effect, no? Mag-take effect ang donation uh, during the life of the donor. And dapat, uh, pati si Doni, no? Living mo po siya, no? Kasi dapat i-accept man ni, ano, i-accept man ni Doni ang uh, uh, donation, di ba? Kasi, appeal man sa uh, element ang acceptance ni Doni, no? So, dapat, uh, both are living at the time of the transfer. A donor's tax or gift tax is a tax levied, assessed, collected, and paid upon a transfer by any person, resident, or non-resident of the property by gift. So, it is tax imposed on the exercise of donor's right. No, kaya nga, ito is excise tax kasi ang right to transfer property. No, 
in a form of gift. So, the donor's tax is not a property tax, no? So, but is tax imposed on the transfer of property by way of the way of gift or in uh, or intervivos no so ang subject to donor tax is the donor itself no so kinsa to mag donate siya for subject to donor tax no as in the case of state tax the donor tax is an excise tax so so we've said kanina donor tax is also an excise tax but the tax is imposed on the donor and determined with reference to all the donor's gifts so yung tax yung taxan is ang donor itself no kinsa ang donor siya ang magbayad og in in donor tax, the law imposable is the law enforced at the time of the perfection completion of the donation. So mag take effect sa upon perfection and completion of the donation. Okay. So what constitutes the gross gift? No, no. So basically, uh, ang Gross gift and gross, uh, ay same same din yung rule with the gross estate, no? The term gross gift includes real and personal property, whether tangible or intangible or mixed, wherever situa situated. So, what are the composition of gross gift? So, the, the composition of gross gift will depend on the citizenship and or residence of the donor, no? So, same thing, if, if the, uh, if the resident if the if the donor is a resident citizen, non-resident citizen, a resident alien, no, taxable yung donation niya uh, within and without. Okay. However, if it's if the donor is a non-resident alien, taxable lang within. So if the resident or citizen, uh, he is taxable on donation on property situated within and without the Philippines. However, if the donor is a non-resident alien, he shall be subject to tax on properties donated which are located within the Philippines only, so within lang. No? Thus, if the donor is a citizen or resident alien, the gross gift may be composed of real property within or without, tangible personal property within or without, intangible property within or without. No? So, Tanan, no? Basta, resident citizen ka, a citizen, resident citizen, a resident citizen, resident alien, taxable ka within and without. Tangible, uh, real property, tangible, and intangible properties. In case of non-resident alien naman, the gross gift may be composed of the following. So, real property within, tangible per, uh, personal property within, take nota within lang. So, din siya within and without, no? And intangible personal property within unless there is a reciprocity in which case is not taxable. So, pag uh, na reciprocity rule, of course, ang intangible personal property within, no, uh, dili siya subject to donor's tax or exempt siya. It should be noted that the above rule is the same rule that applies in the computation of gross estate. So, same thing lang, no? So, ito yung ano, um, parang... Uh, matrix no, to simplify the rule and determination of whether or not the property shall be included in the gross gift. So, basta, ano, real property niya within, no, so, pag no reciprocity, considered niya po siya, no, taxable. Pero pag with reciprocity, uh, uh, real property man ito, so, um, um, intangible lang man tong subject reciprocity rule, diba? So, taxable siya kay within man. Pag without, of course, uh, kay CRC, NRC, RA lang taxable. Si NRA, dili siya taxable. Pag personal property, pag within, tangible, uh, tangible property within, so taxable na siya, whether RC, NRC, or RA, NRA, NRA, no? Pag tangible naman without, of course, ano lang, um, si RC, NRC, or RA lang po ang taxable. So, since without man, dili taxable si NRA. Intangible na within, so, dili na mag-defer. Kasi pag intangible na within, taxable si RC, NRC, or RA, kasi within na without siya. Pero si NRA, no reciprocity, taxable siya. Pero si NRA with reciprocity, exempt ito. No? Yan. Even though within siya, no? Pero pag intangible na without, of course, ang taxable lang kasi RC and RC o RE. So, 
yun lang, um, familiarize lang itong rule, no? For determination of whether the property shall be included in the gross gift of the donor. So, the, the rule on reciprocity applies if the following requisites are present. So, um, ang reciprocity rule, applicable lang sa kayo ng resident alien. And the properties are intangible personal which are located within the Philippines. So, intangible personal property within. So, no donor's tax shall be collected in respect of intangible property in the following instances. If the donors at the time of the donation was a citizen and resident of a foreign country, no, so, dapat um, naas siya sa country of which he is a citizen, which at the time of the donation did the transfer, uh, uh, impose a transfer tax on intangible personal property of the citizen of the Philippines that residing in that foreign country. So, reciprocity lang. If na ay, if na ay, ano, property ang Filipino citizen silang country, tas wala sil, uh, then uh, subject to or gidunit no or nagdunit ya yeah, delete nila taxan the same thing ni record no so if na ay property ang usa ka NRA or na resident alien dili sa Philippines dili pa nato taxan no kasi reciprocity rule nga also if the law of the foreign country of which a donor was a citizen or resident at the time of the donation allows a similar exemption no from tam from transfer taxes of every character or description in respect of intangible personal property owned by the citizen of the Philippines that residing in that foreign country. So, i-exempt nila. So, if exempt nila, then i-exempt na to din. No? So, that's reciprocity rule. But, kung sa mga property, no, um, Intangible personal properties are considered within in the within sa Philippines, no? So, muna siya ang subject to, um, ano, subject to reciprocity rule, no? Along with others, intangible personal property. So, franchise, dapat uh, exercise siya sa Philippines, no? Shares, obligation, or bonds, issued by corporation or sociedad anonima, organized, or constituted in the Philippines in accordance with the law. So, dapat naka-acquire sila. Uh, dapat, kung share siya, dapat issued by the corp... Uh, issued by the... Uh, ano? Uh, a Philippine corporation. No? Shares, obligation, or bonds issued by any foreign corporation pero dapat at least 85% of the business kay dapat na sa Philippines, located sa Philippines. Shares, obligations, or bonds issued by any foreign corporation if shares, obligations, or bonds have acquired a business status in the Philippines. In shares or right in a partnership, business, or industry established in the Philippines. No. So, that's the um, intangible personal properties na makonsider siya within. So, Yun sa yung valuation, so what are the valuation of gifts of gifts made in property, no? So the valuation of property donated shall be made at the time of the gift, which is the time of the terminating event. If the gift is made in property, dapat the fair market value thereof at the time of the gift shall be considered as the amount of the gift, no? So in case of real property naman, so same thing, no? Dapat whichever is higher between the fair market value and the zona uh, fair market value or the zonal value or the assessed value no take to that pasta which tax basis or that is whichever is higher no so if in the case of stocks naman bonds or other securities the following rules will apply so it's actually the same with sa valuation sa gross estate if listed and traded in stock exchange the fair market value shall be the the arithmetic mean between the highest and lowest quoted selling price of the securities and the valuation of debt. And then, if not listed and traded in stock exchange, the fair market value shall depend on whether the stocks are preferred or common. So, pag common, um, the market value uh, shall be the book value of the equity security and the valuation date, you know, or on a date nearest the valuation date. Pero pag preferred siya, par value siya of the security or the share. No, so, pag-listed, uh, pag-listed sa arithmetic mean between the highest and lowest, basta pag uh, not listed, 
pag uh, pag ordinary share book value basta preferred share par value okay so let's have an example no for the computation of the gross gift Okay, so we have here an, an illustration. So, Ara gave the following properties to various donees on December 25, 2018. No? So, we have here house and lot in London, 3.5 million apartment in Naga City. Uh, within ito, no, 8 million. Car in Idiga City, within 720,000. Car in London without 100,000. Saving deposit with BPI within 50,000. Time deposit on New York Bank um, without 120,000. Accounts receivable that are residing in the Philippines. So within ito, 140,000. Accounts receivable that are residing in Hong Kong. So without 35,000. Franchise exercise in New York, 225,000. So without ito, kasi New York. Franchise exercise in the Philippines, 120,000. So, since the sa Philippines, 120,000 within ito. Investment in good time, partnership established in Hong Kong without 160,000. And investment in lovers company, partnership established in the Philippines uh, within 125,000. So, the requirement is to compute for the gross gift if ARA is. So, we'll start with if ARA is a resident citizen, resident alien, or non-resident citizen. So, pasta RC and RC of RA, actually, taxable siya within and without. So, yung buhaton, i-add lang niya mo tanan, property. No? Kasi whether within or without, taxable man. So, actually, ang sum na tanan is 13,895,000. So, yung mo lang i-add tanan. No? So, the next one, what if ARA is a um, ano, non-resident alien through without reciprocity. So, if non-resident alien, kataksabal na ka within, so ang within ani, ang apartment in, Naga, apartment in Naga City, 8 million, car in Riga City, 520, no? Kasi the rest are without naman to. Savings deposit with BPI, so since without reciprocity, appeal to intangible property, no? Na with ng situs. So, savings deposit with PPI 50, accounts receivable debtor residing in the Philippines 140, franchise exercise in the Philippines 120, and investment in lovers company partnership established in the Philippines 125. So, kung baga, ang naapay lang sa gross gift is katong tanang properties, whether tangible or intangible, na ang site is kay within. Okay? Next naman, what if? Si donors, uh, ang, ang ano, uh, si Ara is a non-resident alien and the reciprocity rule apply. So, pag with reciprocity, so, ang makonsider lang din is actually ang, tan, uh, ang real property or tangible personal property na within ang situs. Which in this case, si ano lang apartment in Aga City o si car in Aga City. No? So, mo lang man na ang uh, tangible personal or tangible personal o real property na within ang situs. No? So, katong mga ano, mga intangible personal property, uh, personal property na within ang situs, hindi siya considered as part of the gross gift kasi na may reciprocity. Okay? Yan siya. So, for this time, we'll discuss na the net gift and donor tax or the computation of the donor tax. So, una, uh, you'll get, you'll determine the gross gift, and next would be the deductions from gross gift. So, we'll discuss more now what are the deductions from gross gift. So, a deduction from gross gift, no, are uh, gifts to uh, national government, its political subdivision, or any, any entity created by any of its agencies, which is not uh, conducted per profit, no? So, yun siya. So, pag mag ka to the national government, no? Ano siya? Um, ang net gift niya, zero. Kumbaga, nasa gross gift, pwede mo rin kapun siyang i-deduct, no? Nasa net gift, no? So, yun siya. Uh, gift in favor of educational, charitable, religious, culture, and social welfare institution, no? Um, etc. Pero it's, it's uh, subject ito siya to 30% rule which 
means that not more than 30% of the said gifts will be used for administration purposes. No? So, yun siya. So, pwede siya i-claim po as deduction. Um, ang encumbrance naman, property donated, no? So, if gi-assume ni, ano, uh, gi-assume ni Doni ang, ano, ang mortgage, uh, pwede po din mo siya i-claim as deduction. And also, diminution of the value of the property. Okay? Ito pala, um, donation, uh, as a rule, any contribution are given to candidates, political parties, or coalition of parties are not subject to donor's tax as long as the following conditions are met. The contribution is for campaign purposes, no? and the donation is reported duly to the Commission on Election. No? So, muna ang usahay. Uh, makita na ito sa, uh, ano, sa advertisement that this ad, uh, uh, this, uh, ad uh, ad is paid for by friends of so sa mga candidate no so yun siya so um donation ni mo so ang uh, donation to any uh, candidate no for no sa election no uh, is not subject to donor's tax exempt siya actually no so the the however the campaign contribution is subject to donor's tax on the part of the donor if such contributions are not report uh if such contributions are not part to uh, reported to Comelec so dapat to report mo sa Comelec para ano siya ma exempt siya from donor's tax okay so yung deduction deduction from gross gift ito lang no uh, gifts to the national government, gifts to the um, NGOs, no? non-government organizations, encumbrance, and domination of in the value of the property. No? Yun discuss, yung deductions natin. So, gross gift less deductions from gross gift to yung net gift. No? Uh, I-multiply mo lang yung applicable rate. So, yung rate natin is 6% in excess of 250,000. So, if the donation is less than 250,000, exempt siya. Hindi siya subject to donor's tax. Okay? So, ang subject to donor's tax is donation more than 250,000 lang. Okay? So, so net gift in excess of 250,000 times 6% na, uh, na donor's tax rate, muna na yung donor's tax due and payable. Less tax credit, no? Example for uh, donor's tax uh, credit for donor's tax paid in a foreign country. Pwede siya claim no? So, you have donor's tax payable na. On a subsequent donation, so take note, accumulative ito siya for a, for a taxable year. No? So, gross gift made this month, less deductions from gross gift, no? Yung, ito yung net gifts current, no? Um... Tapos, i-add mo ang all prior net gift within the year. I-add mo siya to get the aggregate net gift. Then, times the applicable tax rate, no, which is 6% in excess of 250. Then, uh, that's your donor's tax due. Tapos, i-less lang ni mo yung donor's tax paid on prior gift. Um, less tax credit to get the donor's tax due and payable. Okay? So, yun siya. Let's have uh, an example, no? For the computation of donor's tax. So, we have here, Anakleto give the following donations to, ano, um, February 14, 2018, as a Sena legitimate daughter in account of marriage last uh, December 3, 2016, 190,000. On June 1 naman, 2018, Brusco, brother in account of marriage, scheduled uh, December 31, 2017, $160,000. Um, on October 13, 2018, Kare Sosa, legitimate daughter in account of marriage, um, November 12, 2017, $180,000. Um, on January uh, 15, 2019, national government, don't land donated for public purpose with a fair market value of 700,000 and then um, May 15, 2019 Dalmasio, father on account of marriage, land with a fair market value of 1 million, mortgage of, of 100,000 which was assumed by the donor. 
So, the requirement is to compute for the uh, gift no each donation. So, una, So, sa February 14, 2018, di ba, ang gross gift ni mo na 190, tapos wala kay, wala mang kay deduction, so, muna po ni mong net gift. So, ibang net gift is 190, no? So, um, since, di ba, ang tax rate is 6% in excess of 250, so, since wala pa man siya kaabot ng 250, so, wala pa siya donor's tax, so, exempt pa siya, okay? Yan siya. And then, on June 1, di ba, nag-donate po kag 160, no? So, i-add di mo ang 190 na prior uh, prior net gift. So, you have aggregate net gift na of 350. Tapos, i-deduct ni mo tong exempt gift na 250 since the tax rate, di ba, is 6% in excess of 250. So, 350 less 250. So, ang taxable net gift ni mo is 100 na lang times 6%. So, the donor's tax due is 6,000. Okay? So, yun siya, yung uh, gross gift natin is 160 plus 90, 190 sa prior. So, 350 less 250. Uh, taxable net gift is 100 times 6%. So, you have 6,000 na no, for June 1. Next, on October 13 naman, October 13. Ito, October 13. So, October 13, ang net gift, wala man ni deduction. So, ang gross gift, may equal na po siyang net gift, 180. So, add din mo ang prior net gift. So, kaning aggregate sa last, 350. No? So, aggregate net gift of 530. No? So, 530 less 250, exempt gift. So, sa taxable net gift is 280 times 6%. So, you have donor's tax due is 22,400. Tapos, i-less lang din mo ang nabayaran ni mo na 6,000, no? Sa uh, June, no? Na 6,000. So, ang mayroon nun mo sa October 13 is 16,800 na lang. Or para mas madali, basta ang imuhang prior net gift na lapas na o 250, pwede nun mo sa diretsyo, no? Like, kung pila ang net gift ka na donation, like, October 13, itimes lang nun mong 6%. Only, aha, so, may naanin lang ka if ang prior net gift nila pas o uh, 250 no okay. same thing naman gihapon kay ang ang kaning um ang katong imuhang prior net gift no ang nabay ang, ang nabay ta ka 6000 mura man no uh, mura man gihapon no so pwede na may direction na so 180 which is the net gift for this ano uh, for the current donation times 6%. Yan siya. So, take note na mag-aggregate lang ka for uh, sa uh, uh, same if the donation was made on the same taxable year. No? So, pag lahi na siya, say for example, kanin siya 115-2019, so lahi na po din siya. No? So, the gross gift is 700,000. The deduction ni mo is 700,000 man. Diba? No? So, net gift is zero. So, wala kay bayaran. No? Okay? Um, Na-appeal sa gross gift. So, since, diba? Um, basta mag-donate ka to uh, in favor of national government, uh, pwede din mo siya i-claim as deduction. No? So, kung mag-appeal sa gross gift, ilas po din mo siya. No? So, the net gift is zero. On May 15 naman, so, ang gross gift ni mo is 1 million. Pero, di ba, basta na ay, ano, mortgage. Tapos, gasume siya ni Doni, i-claim ni mo siya as deduction. So, ang net gift ni mo is 900. Add prior net gift, which is zero, kasi zero maning net gift sa January 15. So, i-less ni mo to 50. So, um, the aggregate net gift, net gift device 900. Uh, this ang tax rate is 6% in excess of 250. So, 900 plus 250, 650 times 6%. No? So, the donor's tax due is 39,000. So, yan. So, yun siya. Okay? Yan. Okay, so let's have another example. Uh, what if uh, um, yung donors are married, no? 
siya. So, or donations of a ng married, no? So, Mr. and Mrs. K made the following donations. No? So, yun siya. Um, on January 25, 2019, to L, their legitimate son on account of marriage last January 20, 2018, a car worth 800,000 with 200,000 200, mortgage, one half was assumed by the donor. No? Um, on May 31, 2019, to M, brother of Mr. K, his capital property uh, worth 500,000 on account of, of marriage six months ago to M with a condition that the but the donee will pay the donors after on, no? Or the, uh, to end, daughter of Mrs. K before her mar marriage, on account of her marriage 18 months ago, for Miss, Mrs. K's para for an or exclusive property worth 100,000. And lastly, on August 20, 2019, to end, on account of the same marriage, a uh, conjugal car uh, of the couple worth 400,000 with 200,000 unpaid mortgage one half assumed by N and 500,000 worth of land to their four sons on account of their graduation, 20% of which was owned by their compadre who agreed to donate his through a public document. Okay, so the requirement is to compute for the donor's tax for Mr. and Mrs. No, um, each donation, no, each date of donation. No. So, kasi kada mag-ano ka, mag-donate, mag-file ka og uh, for donor tax or mag-pay ka og uh, donor tax. Okay? So, una, this is January 5, 2019 ha. This is the 2013, 2019 ito. So, una ito, ba So, so if silent, ang property nilang gidonate is common property unless it has been mentioned that it's part of his exclusive property. So, pag common, pag common property siya, so, yun nga, Dapat this ano siya, split siya between the husband and the wife, no kay Mr. and kay Mrs. So that would be eight hundred thousand divide two. Pati ang donation uh, ang katong deduction i divide pudog two. Diba? So take note that one half lang ang gi assume so two hundred thousand times fifty percent. No, tas katong one hundred thousand na half sa or katong mortgage na gi assume i divide po niyo siya og two. No, so that ang net gift ni Mr. Ogni Mrs. is 350 and 350. Diba? Yan siya. So, since the tax rate is ano, um, the tax rate is 6% in excess of 250. So, 350 less 250, no, that's 100,000 times 6%. So, the donor's tax due, uh, each is, uh, for Mr. and Mrs. is 6,000. So, in total, kung the question is, uh, uh, the total donor's tax due for the husband and wife, the answer is 12,000. Pero pag each, kay Mr. 6,000, kay Mrs. 6,000 naman. Yan siya. Next, uh, on May 31, no, kasi sa May 31, um, capital property ni Mr. So, si Mr., pag exclusive property, isa lang ang donor, uh, donor, uh, ang, ang um, donor, si Mr. Lang, siya lang po ang mabayad ng state, uh, state donor's tax rather. That's on donation on May 31. So, May 31, kay Mr. 500,000. So, add yung ang prior net gift na 350, kani siya, no? And then, aggregate net gift 850, no? So, less, ano, 250. So, since tax, the tax rate is 6% excess of 250. So, 850 less 250, 600. No? The taxable net gift times 6%. So, 36,000. I-deduct lang ni mo ang tong 6,000 na nabayaran niya dati. So, the donor's tax due is 30. Or, di ba, pag nilapas na ang, ag, uh, ang net gift prior of 350, pwede ni mo direct show. So, 500,000 times 6%. No? So, 30,000. Okay. Next naman, um, July 15, no? So, kani siya, ang gidonate po kay exclusive property sa Mrs. No? Mrs. K, no? So, it's worth 100,000, no? Add mo ang prior net gift niya, katong 350, kani siya, no? So, 450, so less 250, uh, the taxable net gift is 200,000 times 6%. So, the donor's tax due is 12, 
6,000. Oh, or, uh, or, and then, i-deduct niyo mo itong 6,000 na bayaran niya on January 25, 2019. So, the donor's tax due is 6,000. Or, uh, simply, the 100,000 ang net gift on uh, July 15 times 6%. So, 6,000. Kanda na siya. And, lastly, on August 20, so, tulo ang taxpayer din, no? si Mr., si Mrs., o si kompadre. Yan. Diba? So, let's compete for the gross gift to end on account of marriage. Uh, conjugal car of the couple worth 200,000. So, since conjugal car man ito, so 400,000 divide 2. So, tag 200 kay Mr., 200 kay Mrs. Ang land naman, 500,000, no? Uh, 20% old silang kumpadre. So, 80% ang owned by Mr. and Mrs. So, land, 500,000 times uh, 80%. So, 400,000 ito, divide 2. Tag 200,000, 200,000 sila. No? Yan. Then, uh, mortgage assumed by the donee. So, take note that subject po siya to mortgage ang ang car, ang subject na mortgage. No? So, same. Uh, one half lang ang giasum ni Doni. 50% divide 2. No? So, if uh, conjugal uh, or uh, communal ang property uh, is split him ang 2. Ang, uh, for example, naka-mortgage din siya split po din mo ugto ang mortgage. No? Ang deduction ng mortgage. So, net gift is 350. Yan. Add prior net gifts. So, 850 kay Mr. And 450 kay Mrs. Sa kay Mr. Ito man siya. 850 naman ito. Then kay Mrs. 450. Yan. And then, ito yung aggregate net gift niya. Let's magdedak ka ng 250 uh, to get a taxable net gift, 950 and 5, uh, uh, 950 kay Mrs. 550 kay Mrs. times 6%. So, 57,000 no, ang donor's tax due ni Mr. Pwede dak ni mo tong cumulative tax due ni Mr. which is ano ang, ang nabayaran niya total ito kay Mr. Yan, 36,000. No? 36. So, ang donor tax payable niya karon is, ano, uh, 21,000. Kay Mrs. naman, 550 times 6%, 33. Tapos, i mo tong prior, which is 12. No? So, 21,000. Or simply, um, each ano, spouse, kay husband and wife, di ba, um, 350 man ang, net, ang current net gift nila. Pwede nila may multiply 6% to get the 21,000. No? Di ba, pag malapas na og, uh, 250 ang prior net gifts. Pwede na siya i-direction. Ang kay kumpadre naman, no, since kay kumpadre, yaman ang 20% of the ano, land so, 20% of the land is 100,000. No? Since uh, this is less than 250,000, so, delete siya uh, taxable. So, exempt siya. No? So, wala pa yung donor's tax. So, wala donor's tax by RNC, compadre. Okay? So, now that ends our discussion for donor's tax. Okay? So, thank you everyone. Yeah.